وفاسنا من وين كالزمن يسترنا يا سادة السدر وفاسنا من وين كالزمن اقتل يا بيشيل فليق البناء I saw them in India and the Minoan Mughal in Sudan. People ask us where we are from. We tell them Sudan. They ask us when we got here. We tell them April. They ask us if we know English. We say no. They say little by little, you will learn English. We were happy in our village of Tukutuku. We had a farm and a garden and we planted our own food. Then other tribes came and attacked us, burned our homes, killed the people, stole our cattle. Everyone fled the village and crossed the river to Chad, where the United Nations took us to Akan. In 2006, my stepdad stabbed my mom while my sister and I were working on a farm. We came back to blood all over our tent. There was no one to help us. As the oldest son, I had to help raise my siblings and take care of my mom. Life was hard. The United Nations said our mother needed treatment and they would take us to America. Thank God, in 2016, we made it here. The houses here are so close to each other, but it's a beautiful city, thank God. Our agency Samaritas found this house for us. They will pay the rent until July, but we cannot work yet. I'm 17, my sister is 19 and pregnant. Our mom is injured and cannot work. We don't know where we're going to get the money to pay the bills. We need help. Our caseworker Arjwan helps us a lot, keeps an eye on us, translates for us, and takes us to the doctor. What's your name? My name is Nasu. Afia. Good. We want to get education here and for my mom to seek treatment. There is no reason to go back. Wow, this is man. This is woman. Habib. I am hungry. Mm, ice cream. E B C D E F G. I hope to learn English and play soccer and one day become a doctor because in our village we don't have any doctors. <laughs> Sudan is my country. Perhaps one day I'll go back. I still have a lot of family there and more in the camp. God willing, hopefully one day they can make it here. Stop!